Hey you guys, this is Beth from Dainty Daisies Merchandise. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I am a part-time reseller and a stay-at-home mom to three babies. In today's video, we will be doing our Goodwill Blue Box unboxing, but I first want to announce our May giveaway. I'm going to be doing a little Mother's Day special for you guys. I'm going to be doing a jewelry jar giveaway with um, some vintage pieces, costume pieces. We have brooches, necklaces, bracelets, all of the above in this jar. So I wanted you guys to check out the description below to see how to enter. Go ahead and set this aside and we'll do our Goodwill Blue Box unboxing. Here's our Goodwill Blue Box. This one is coming from North Carolina, Greensboro, North Carolina. All right, first up is this pretty set, Kim Rogers Cubic Zirconia. This is really pretty. It's got like the nice big pearl on there with the really nice earrings silver tone chain let me get my magnet there we go all right that part of the chain is magnetic let's check the rest no and i don't see any any marks on there all right so beautiful set and i'll have to look up kim rogers uh i don't think i've seen her stuff before but I would probably sell this in the $20 range so if you're interested you guys are always welcome to email me check out my Poshmark and my Etsy pages as well all right it says $11 what is the hmm I don't see any brand name I'm trying to see if there's a name on there I would probably sell that in about 10 to $12 range. I like the gold chain, the turquoise, and it's actually got some of this like brown streaks throughout it. And I like that a lot. I think that's really pretty. Oh, and they actually separate. So we've got these rings and they've got these ones that are separated. All right, I like that, very pretty. And I would, again, do this um, for the 10 to $12 range on Poshmark. I'll keep it in the uh, $8 range on here. Silver tone bracelet, I think. Maybe it's an anklet, because this looks pretty big. Yeah, it's probably for an ankle. Let's see. I'm losing my magnet again. All right, we're magnetic. So I'll probably set this to the side. I don't see any markings on it. We'll see if it makes the cut, because anklets do sell, so especially this summertime. All right, next, it looks like some wooden beads. Oh, maybe there's some like quartz in there maybe okay so there is looks like some maybe glass beads let's pull out the presidium yeah glass and or is the other one all right so we got two of these green ones yeah i'm thinking quartz oh it's kind of in that jade though as well all right so maybe jade really pretty I love this colors on there oh yeah so that's pretty high up there so maybe some jade again very pretty so a mix of wooden beads and some earth stones some glass beads definitely a cool wrap bracelet I will do this one for 12 and if you're interested on here I'll do it for eight All right, big, I'm assuming fake pearl. Yeah, fake pearl necklace. I like the bigger pearls on there though. I don't see any markings on the clasp. And I'll probably put this in a lot, but if you're interested in it, I'll do it for two. If you're new to this channel, I do my lot pieces for $2 and under. So if you're interested in a lot piece, definitely send me an email. Oh, this is nice. Another, oh, this is stretchy. I didn't expect it to be stretchy. Yeah, another probably glass bead necklace. I like it a lot. Very colorful, loving the colors today. And I'll do this one for five. Okay, New York and Company. Let's hope we find the match to this because this is a really pretty set. I like, I like the jewels and the seed beads on there. This one says for 12. Uh, if we find the match, I'll do these for eight as well. Next. We 
like silver chain over here. I don't see any markings. No markings. And just a hair magnetic. I'm gonna put this in a lot. I'm gonna put that in a lot. This one as well will go in a lot. Now we got these pearls. I'm gonna say they're fake. Little bent. We'll put that in the earring pile. See if we can find a match. Stretchy ring. I'll probably give this one to my girl. You guys know my daughter gets all the fun stuff that I don't sell. So I'll set that aside for her. That's another really fun one too. Super bright. Taking these are glass again. Yes, glass with the plastic maybe. Oh, it did go up on glass a little bit. Okay. Yeah, I like these a lot. I like these beads on there. They're shiny, a little sparkly. I'm probably going to put this in a lot. These are the No Boundaries Walmart brand. I'll probably put these in a lot, but if you're interested in it, I'll do it for a dollar. All right, next. These are pretty cold to the touch. Okay, it looks like they're just tied together with a ribbon, so these can be separated. I'm thinking dyed quartz. Yeah, definitely in that quartz range. And then wings. I'll do this one for five. Oh, I love this. All the charms down there at the bottom. Yeah, just a nice cluster of charms. Looks like some rose quartz. Some glass beads. It's a little tangled, but it looks like there's a little ring on there that they all... Hang on to, I will untangle that. But let's test these. Glass. Yeah, rose quartz. Mm, it's fairly high on glass. So blessed, charmed necklace. I'll do this one for five. Oh, this is pretty. Okay, so it looks like we have some Chinese writing, I'm thinking. Really pretty. I'm thinking it's plated, maybe. Mm, not magnetic. All right, I'll do a little bit more research on this, but I'm thinking I'll probably sell this between the $10 and $15 range. Okay, another pendant with some kind of sign on there. I'm not sure what that is. If you know, let me know. I'm gonna put it in the lot pile for now, but I do go through my lot piles. If you're interested in my lot boxes, I sell them on Etsy and Poshmark, and I also sell them on here as well. You can email me. All right, I'm gonna probably keep this just because I can always use extra chains and necklaces. So I'll probably keep this one. Okay, $2, no boundaries again. I would probably sell this for $2. Looks like we got an earring caught in there. But I do like these and I might have to keep this for my daughter, but these are still kind of small. She's only three, so I try not to give her too many of the smaller ones, but she's been doing a lot better wearing necklaces. So I will debate on keeping this one. Okay, this is a sample. Six to eight weeks, bracelet offer, okay. Let's 
See if there's any markings on it. Korea. Oh yeah, we're magnetic. I'll do these. I, I have a handful of these. Uh, and I usually sell them for $5 a piece. So if you're interested. Next. Gold chain. It's got some kind of marking on there. Stainless steel. It's probably just plated. So stainless steel, that's cool. It's got the definitely plated, you see, stainless steel <laughs> on the very end. Nice chain though, and I'll sell this one for five. Oh, this is a big one. Nine West, okay, that's a nice brand for resell. It just has the hook too. I'll probably do this one for eight. All right, a little leather jeweled necklace. Probably put this in a lot. That says Premier. I keep losing <laughs> my loop. Yeah, Premier USA. Probably put this, yeah, Premier Designs. We'll put this in the earring pile, see if we can find a match. All right, next we have, it's Tesla's. Oh, a diamond. Yay. That's a big one, too. See, it looks like the necklace says 925. Let's see if there's any markings. All right, looks like we got a marking on here. Okay, looks like 14 karat. So 14 karat white gold. Ah, that's so pretty. I love that. I'll acid test it to make sure, but so pretty, beautiful. It's hard to give the diamonds away. I usually keep them for myself. <laughs> it's hard not to keep them. That's a really pretty pendant too. I'm all about the minimal look. All right, this is two for 10. I would, what is this? Charlotte Russe? Yeah. This choker too. I'd probably sell this for the five to $7 range. So if you're interested, $5. Oh, big tangle in here. So we're gonna look at the pieces. I made our little piles here. It's like a stretch fan. I think it's like a hair, like for your hair maybe, or just a necklace, but I'm gonna put it in a lot. All right, I wanna look at this chain, cause it looks nice. Italy. Nine two five Italy, and it says I C or C I. That's really pretty. I might have to add that to the diamond since this one looks broken. Yeah, it looks like it's tied together. All right, so yeah, I'll probably take that off and put the diamond on there. All right, really nice chain. Another chain. Looks maybe like stainless steel, steel or something. It's magnetic. All right, I'll set that aside and decide if I'm gonna keep that one or not. Is this a bracelet? I can't tell. Pretty though, I'll put it in a lot. Let's test these little shinies on there. Glass, glass. 
still going to go in a lot. We got a C with the the flower. All right, I will put this to the side and see if it makes the cut. All right, this has this tangled chain in it and I cannot get it out. So I'll work on it later, but this is really pretty if I can untangle it. I do like this necklace and it looks to be in good shape too. So we'll see if this one makes the cut as well. All right, I'm gonna put this one in a lot. Okay, we got the owl and there's lovely mystery hair in this box all over the place. All right, so we have an owl. Uh, I'm gonna put this in a lot, but if you're interested in it, I'll do it for two. And then, I think it says sack, yeah. Sack, I think that's Avon. Or magnetic. I'm gonna put that in a lot as well. Start pulling some stuff out of here. Earrings, earrings. Alrighty, that wasn't too bad. I want to look at this one first. Look how pretty that is. So beautiful. NYT, super pretty. I love that. Looks so good. None of the stones look to be missing. Let's test it. They're really small. Glass. Yeah, I think I'm just hitting metal. <laughs> Don't get excited. All right, there we go. I love that though. Really pretty. Really nice. All right, I will do this one for 10. Oh, this is really big move some stuff around yeah this one's really long I love it though look at this beautiful beadwork on here looks maybe there's just a little bit okay that's just a tie so maybe you could just trim that a little bit you can see it just barely uh, otherwise it looks really good and I just I love this design really cool I love that really nice statement necklace the metal looks to be in decent condition as well no real bad wear on there. All right, I will do this one for 12. Really, really love that one. So beautiful. I don't see any like missing beads or loose strands or anything. So again, I will do that for 12. All right, this looks pretty worn out. I'm gonna put this one in a lot. We got the light up. Clovers here. I'm going to put it in a lot. I would give it to my kids, but unless I find another one in the box, I do not feel like dealing with that sibling drama today. Not today. Okay, so this is cool, different, nice silver pendant there. I really like the coloring in there. And then the seed beads over here. 
silver tone chain. Yeah, that's really pretty. I like that. I'll do this one for eight. And starfish. Let's see if there's any markings on it. All right, a little bit of wear on that metal. It would be on the back side, so you wouldn't see it when you wear it, but otherwise, it looks in pretty good condition. I will do this one for five. This is really pretty. The metal doesn't look great on there. It looks like the coating maybe has come off a little bit. Let's test it. Got the purple in clear glass, glass. I might sell this one still. If you're interested in it, I'll do it for five. Uh, just that metal is a little bit, uh, looks a little worn. So I'll do it for five. All right, let's look through these earrings. No markings on that one. Looks cool. Glass. Glass. Pretty pretty. Hope for a match. Oh, nice and sparkly too. Lots of costume pieces. Maple leaf. Missing a rhinestone in there. Okay. Now we got this little one to might see where that came from. All right, another seed bead necklace with a necklace intertwined in there. I'm gonna put this in a lot, so if you're interested, I'll do it for two. All right, Japan. Fake pearls. It looks like there's just some, maybe some dirt on there. All right, I will do this one for three. Oh, so that's where that came from. This is just like really wrapped in there too. I like this earring, but it is really stuck in there. So I'll try and untwist that earring and then I'll find out what this necklace situation is. I'm assuming I'll probably just put it in a lot still. All right, hold on, we might can get it. Ah. Oh, yay. Okay, so I'm going to put this in a lot. See if we got any markings on here. No. And they're magnetic, but let's hope for a match. I love this. The markings. It's definitely longer. Arrowhead. Above glass, kind of in that quartz amethyst range. Really pretty. I love that on there. I might would replace the chain on it. It doesn't look bad. I just feel like it doesn't match the gold on that pendant as well. Okay, so I will do this one for five. I don't remember what that brand is there. There you go. Nice statement necklace. So I like that this one goes kind of down all the way to this bottom jewel. I will sell this one for five. I like that. Another nice large statement necklace. Let's see what it looks like. 
Yeah, this is a little different too with the beaded tassel type at the bottom. I can't get it to lay flat because these want to kind of turn around. The chain looks nice on this. This is really interesting. Trying to make sure I'm not missing. All right, looks like we're missing one on here. So let's see if we can find it at the bottom. Otherwise, y'all, the rest of them look good. Missing just one of those right there. But I like the chain on it. It's got like these little ridges on there. Adjustable length. So yeah, I'll do this one for five. If I can't find that piece, I'll do it for two. All right, next, I'm gonna put this in a lot. These look like plastic beads. We'll put that to the side so we can find a match. Another earring. Earrings, earrings. I'm missing my box from last week. It was so organized and neat <laughs> and easy to go through. I like this necklace. All right, there we go. This one, ooh, look at that with the vines. All right, looks like it's missing one, two. Oh, it's missing a couple. Hopefully we'll find them at the bottom because this is really pretty. Necklace, Claire's. So pretty though. All right, here's another gold chain necklace, but it's got the, okay, Avon. Yeah, I like this a lot from Avon with those twisted pearls in there. I'll do this one for five. I'll put all these earrings in a lot. Put that in a lot. So no boundaries again. I like this for my daughter a little bit. Some of these, like this one, I'd probably keep this one for myself. But I will think about it. If you're interested, I would sell it for two. Lot. All right, this is beautiful. A tight choker necklace. I might have to keep this one for myself. I haven't gotten one this tight before. I like that. I'm into chokers right now. They're definitely my, my style. I like a choker for the summertime, too. So yes, that's so pretty. If you're interested in it, I will do it for 12. Really pretty. This looks like stainless steel to me. I don't see any markings. I'll do this one for three. I'm gonna put this one a lot. It's kind of bent, a little worn out. Oh, this is pretty. What does that say? Nine two five China GV. So silver on there. And yeah, kind of that mother of pearl looking pendant. I'll do this one for ten. I would include a nine two five chain with that. figure. All right, I would do this one probably for about four. If you're interested in it on here, I'll do it for two. A stretchy band bracelet. All right, here's a bangle. A gray colored bangle. I kind of like the raised spots on there. It actually looks in pretty good condition. I'll do this one for three. Ooh, this looks a little beat up. Mm, I'm gonna put this in a lot. Earring, Ugh, I'm gonna put that in a lot. Put that in a lot. Ooh, this is pretty. A little different. Like the chain, again, it's got like those ridges on it. This is really nice though. 
going to be a long necklace. You can see I can't get it all in the shot. The chain looks like maybe a little dirty. Uh, definitely could be cleaned up just with maybe some soap and water. I will be doing a cleaning video soon. I know I promised you guys I would be doing one and I'm trying to squeeze one in. So um, bear with me. I will be doing, I'm trying to get one out this coming up month. So keep an eye out for that. I will do this one for 10. Mm. Put that in a lot. We have here Santa Claus. Do those for two. All right, so we have the silver tone earring. I'm gonna put that in the earring pile. All right, more earrings. Kind of like that druzy sparkled look. Oh, I like this. Looks like a little crystal on there. Kind of rising in that glass. Yeah, rising in that glass. So for a match, that's a really cool, cool earring. I like that. Okay, we got a marking on here. Six oh nine. So T H S U. I can't remember what S U means. Pretty though. Another stretch band bracelet. Ooh, I would have liked this if it wasn't. You see all the coating coming off of there. Put it in a lot. Little anchor necklace. I will put that in a lot. It's gonna be a big lot box this week. Love that glass pendant on there. Little gold at the end too. Really pretty. I think I sold my last one like this for about $8. So I'll probably stick in that $8 range. Lot again. Claire's Club, all the pretty little rings. I will probably give this to my daughter, but uh, the metal isn't looking super great on it. So I'll have to look through them, see which one is best. Earring. Earring. Lot, lot, lot. Oh, so maybe we're that little red rhinestone glass. It's not looking super great. Mm, probably going to put it in a lot. $4.99. I would probably sell it around that range to $4. Stretch band again. Nice blue on there. All the jewels seem to be attached. All right, $4. Inspired silver. I'll do this one for three. Okay, looks like maybe it's a chain. Took onto something. Oh, I love this. Ooh, all the shiny abalone. Beautiful. Looks like stainless steel to me. Very pretty. Magnetic. I'll do this one for eight. I'm gonna put that in a lot. Earring pile. Let's check these little sparklers on there. Glass. Put all of these in the earring pile. Premiere again. 
looks like a heart. I'm thinking, yeah. Looks like we found the match to the other one. So there seem to be some matches in here. Not very many, but we've got a couple. This jewelry looks super dirty today. Yeah, it's just worn out. No markings and we're magnetic. Accessory. I like this one. I might give this one to my daughter, but if you're interested, $3. Chic Gallery, $6. I'll do it for two. It looks like we found the match to that other one. Hannah. Okay, there we go. Just like that. Maybe there was a necklace one with it, so it was $24. Okay. Now it says $7. Rhodium. Okay. If you're interested in these, I would do it for probably about $7. I do think that's really pretty, the shine on there. Just on the one side. On the other side, it's just the plain. On one side, it's really rainbow colored and pretty. All right, we've made it to the bottom of the box here. I'm just going to dump it out. found the match. I've got such a big earring pile right now. I'm not going to dig through it and find the match, but we found the match to the other one and I'll do the pair for $5. All of these clovers everywhere. All right. looks to be a lot of earrings. Karu. K-A-R-U and then A-R-K-E ink. Never heard of that one. To do some research. I'll put those in a lot. Those are really worn out. I think we have the match to that one as well. A couple matches in here. Looks like that abstract one that we just put in there. I swear it gets like lost immediately. Okay, there it is. <laughs> All right, I'll do these for five. Really pretty. Kind of those like bent turned edges. All right, that looks like matches that necklace. The markings, ooh, this is pretty. Let's test it. Glass. Earring, it might match that necklace. Kind of looks like it matches that necklace. Starfish. Oh, this is cool. Let's test this one too. Glass. I don't know what that was supposed to be. If that was supposed to be to a necklace or an earring. It's not too heavy, so it could be an earring. Ooh. Nine two five. It's got a mark on there, but I can't quite tell. It looks like a V with like a dot above it. I don't know if you guys can see it in there. Yeah, there you go, just a little bit. All right, and it looks like I have a match. I love these little roses. I'll do these for 10. Oh, what's it say? Is it Monet? Yeah, it's Monet. The metal just looks a little, little worn on there on the sides. You can see some of that silver tone underneath there. So I'll think about this pair. If I wish it was in better condition, I would definitely resell it. Oh, 
very large. Looks like it used to be an earring. <laughs> Alrighty, I'm gonna put that in a lot. LR. It's LR mark on there. Okay, looks like we have another match to one of those other earrings. We did have that one. Okay. All right, looks like we found the match to that very first earring we found. Looks like a match to the other one. More matches, premiere designs. This is interesting. Little mother of pearl there. The tassels that hang down. Just a little magnetic. All right, looks like the closing part of the earring snapped off. All right, no markings on that one. Oh, we found another match. I'm assuming this is fake because this is very cloudy. Glass. And the last one. Korea. Okay, so we got two of those Korea ones. I'll sell them for the same price. But all right, so this wasn't a half bad box. You know, with the 925, we got a lot of 925. The diamond, of course. Stunning. Love the diamond in there. So beautiful. A lot of costume pieces, a lot of good wearable pieces. Uh, so if you're interested, of course, send me an email. You can also check out my Poshmark and my Etsy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope that you guys can give me a thumbs up. And um, until next time.